Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just came on to share a comment with you that um, I should have thought of myself. But uh, our sister Edith, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, has a suggestion here in the comments. Uh, she's been putting numbers out, but um, I figured anybody watching the news or on here, you'd know to call if you needed help. And I said in here, you know, you could call 311. And she says, actually, it's 211. Uh, if you changed your mind and decided you wanted, you know, to get rescued. And also, it's 1-888-421-1234. Well, she says here, Another thought came to me. If any of the people needing help to get out, like if you're in one of the areas where you can still get out, but you have no money, if you have a PayPal account that can be helped financially, um, which I thought of that too, to help somebody, but you know... When you put money into PayPal, then you have to find it right away and have it transferred into your bank so you can use your debit card to swipe or whatever at a gas station. Um, they're doing it much quicker now than they used to. It's like she says, prayers without works in action to help these people financially, if they need that, does not work. Well, our prayers do work. Or they do help. But if there are people out there that need that gas money and you have a PayPal account and you know, or it's real easy to set one up. All you need is an email address. You just go to paypal.com, you, you sign up for one, you use an email address, put in a password, and you're good to go. And then you can let people know, hey, we want to get on the road. We're in Tallahassee or northern Florida It's because it's shifted now. It's going to go up the western side, so it could hit, let's see. I'm wanting to say Tampa Bay area. You could, if you're on Western Florida, I know you're watching the weather, and you guys probably all know way more than I do. I'm doing the best I can to keep up with what they have live, and I just watched a Dabu seven seven Dabu seventy seven report, and he's real good at updating. And there's a few others. Well, anyway, it it looks like. Miami might not be getting as much and it's going between the Bahamas or Cuba and southern tip of Florida and up the western side. So anyway, the point is if you still have time to get out and you want to drive away as opposed to being rescued, but you need gas money and maybe some money to, uh, if you don't have food to pack a bunch of sandwiches or whatever. If you think if we put some money in your PayPal account, would you be able to transfer it to your bank? You should be able to. And then by Monday, it should be in there in your bank, I think, where you could get home on it. You know, maybe not get there on it, but get home on it anyway. So that is a good idea. And, um, you can email me and put urgent need gas money, uh, or need funds to get away. What, however you want to put it, use the word urgent in all caps, because when I go to my email, it'll be full and then some on the, just the one page that opens up. Okay, and I'll be kind of skimming through them real quick. I'll get rid of all the things that aren't from you people. And if I can, 
some of its business and I can't just get rid of it but I know I don't have to read it right that moment you know what I'm saying and I'll look for anything that says urgent update on how we are in Miami ding ding Lily if you're hearing this we need to hear from you okay I may be texting her and seeing if I can get hold of her, her from Lily all day they may not have power and she may be saving her phone which is good. Uh, let's just keep her in prayer. And Lena, Lena, Lena from Jubilina redeemed. Keep Teresa in Tampa, um, Orlando. And who is it? Is it on here? Um. Who is it? Tampa Bay. Somebody's in Tampa Bay. Shoot. I should have wrote it down. Hold on a minute. Is it on here? There's somebody in Tampa Bay. Put subscriber in Tampa Bay or saint. Just put saint in, in Tampa Bay. Look. Jesus knows who they are. He knows their names. He knows everybody that needs help. He knows the situation. Um... He knows you all. He knows all of us. He knows our hearts. He knows where we live. He knows who's in the path and who isn't. So let's keep that in mind. God is in control. He is on the throne. And I keep asking him, Lord, is, is this? We know that I keep, you know, how I talk to him. You know, I tell him stuff like he needs to hear it from me, you know. And then I go, Oh, duh, like you need me to tell you. Do you all do that too? Anyway, I was telling him, you know this is a man-made storm, don't you? <laughs> I, said, I said like, well, if it's your storm, if you're just allowing it or you're doing this for your purposes and let your will be done. But if it's not, then I want you to make it dissipate and go away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I pray like that, you know, <laughs> and I, I think, I don't know what, I'll bet I make Jesus crack up. <laughs> You should hear the way I pray sometimes. <laughs> anyway, better to hear that than to hear nothing at all, right? <laughs> so let's laugh a little in the storm. This is a sad situation, but you know what? We're going to all end up in heaven one day. We can sit around together in person and talk about this. And, oh, I went through this. And, oh, I went through that. And then, oh, I saw the light. And I went right through it. And there was Jesus. And it was so awesome. I don't know. But death is not scary for the Christian. I know we are built to not go there. Jesus gave us some kind of instinct and inner desire to live otherwise we probably wouldn't fight to stay alive like we do so it is a natural desire to not want to die okay that's because that's how we're built but sometimes things happen and I'm praying that God's will be done. And nobody suffers. Nobody. Not one. It is his will that none should perish. But I believe that means go to hell. Perish for eternity. That's what I believe. Anyway, let's all stay in prayer through the night. Lift everybody up in prayer. Continue to pray for those out west. In the fires, the ones who are breathing the smoke or their homes are burning down and pray that nobody gets hurt. Earthquakes going on out there and then there's people still in the situation in Houston. And, and let's pray for those in the shelters. That they will not have to take the mark of the beast or they won't take it if that is even an issue yet okay 
because we don't know where they're going when they leave the Walmarts. Okay. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you over this video, the com this computer, each and every one of you and all of your computers. And I pray, say once again, God's will be done. Abba, Father, let your will be done. Let everybody have the peace that passes all understanding. And to remember you are on the throne. You are in control. And you are in charge. Not Satan. He's not in charge. He thinks he is. He wants to be, but he's not. All right. With that, I'll let you go, and I'll talk to you later. You all be blessed. Stay in peace. Stay in prayer.